talking recently about the order and they were asking me if I knew anything and I kept, and then she started giving this like, <laughs> look like, oh, um, like she was like, can you change this stuff, please? Kind of, you know, kind of look and I'm just was like saying, oh, well, I told them. I had to cover up your, your things is thing and so they covered up for us. Oh. Yes. It, sorry, okay. I didn't know it was down that far. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I, we got some starving brothers yeah, in the chat. Yeah, that's brothers starving. <laughs> yes, sir, brother. <laughs> okay, so uh, what would you like to contribute tonight, Beth? Because you said you got some tea on the order. Um. Well, it's not too big of a, a tea to say, but here's what happened. So I went to Nashville Comic Con, which is been now, this was its third year um, here in Nashville. And Catherine was going to be there and because well she lives here now so <laughs> and everything. yeah so and i've always enjoyed uh seeing Catherine at any convention i have been to because eight years ago i became a booking agent and uh so i actually represent some power rangers right now and i have booked some in the past so um I, I was talking with her off and on throughout the day I was there. I was bouncing back and forth between Ming Chen and Ross Marquand and, you know, cause they, I, I know both of them and everything. So I was walking back and forth and then I had chats with her daughter and everything. So I just was like, I just started talking about, I was like, yeah, some fans and I had been talking recently about the order and they were asking me if I knew anything and I could, and then she started giving this like, <laughs> look like, oh, um, like, she was like, can you change this stuff? Please kind of you know, kind of look and I'm just was like saying, oh, well, I told them, I said, I don't know nothing else. If you want to know something, you're going to have to go ask somebody who's been involved with it because I don't know a clue. Okay. And she was giving me this even more look like, mm, like, yeah, like she was like getting very uncomfortable about being asked, even even mentioned to it about it because there was a couple fans kind of onto the side a little bit, you know, things. So I quickly started to change the subject just because I was starting to get the idea she was getting but very why, why would she not want to talk about the order i am not sure um but i i have no clue but maybe everything everybody's been saying and maybe I, i'm gonna be completely honest i do not think that she had any involvement with the money that was never refunded back from the order or for the items that should have been sent to the fans or anything like that. I almost contributed to it back in the day when it first started. I almost Thank goodness did. you didn't, huh? Almost did. Oh my God. I, my, my, my parents at the time would have like, were like so pissed. They're like, no, don't do that. I said, but look, you know, I said, look, my brother Wesley got me into Power Rangers back in the day, but yet I'm meeting them and working with them. I'm like, I want to support the ones that I actually know that don't have an issue with me. Because <laughs> I've had issues with Austin St. John in the terms of not really him, but his current um, team. <laughs> assistants who used to be with Jason David Frank. Whoa, whoa. And you mean Melanie and Susan Matisse? Are they yes. giving you some stuff? I, I don't believe it. No, are, they Susan, seem so no. sweet. Susan, no. But Mel, oh man, I could tell you a story that could probably last an hour long. Okay, and let's let's get to the order first. Let me yes, try to guide yes. it. Let's get to the order. So you talking yes. to... to um, Catherine Sutherland about the order. She gave you some tea. Not really tea, but she was giving me that tea look like, oh, I want to say something, but I can't, but it's going to make me uncomfortable because there's other fans around. You know, uh. I've seen those kind of faces before because um, originally um, I have a video on my company page from back in 2016 when I brought Carla Perez to Fanboy Expo Nashville, which was their only year they had it. Um, it was him and Jason Font and, and then I had, Carla was up there and, and Michael was talking about, um, his project at the time. And this was like when the, uh, the order wasn't even a thought to like this right here. And then uh, right when the order happened, uh, I think about a year, well, when it was, you know, that for the, the campaign that he was like, oh yeah, they turned my, uh, what I'm doing into what they're doing. They kind of took it away from me. Oh, yeah, like because that. there something was a like Power that, Ranger though. movie before. Yeah. And then they took like 45000 and ran yeah, off. Yeah, I don't want to say much because Michael Copon is a really good friend of mine. And I'm one of his booking agents. But I'm yeah, just kind of quoting that. a little bit of what he said. Um, because I don't want to get it twisted and get it misunderstood and say something wrong that I may have heard or might not have heard. But 
my ear, my hearing is very good at some things. And, and I, even when I was in line, um, to see, oh, who was it? I can't remember who I last saw, uh, who was Power Rangers that was before this year. Cause last year was a blur. Oh, I think it was because Nat and Kia were, uh, Kat and Kia, Nakia was at Smoky Mountain Fan Fest, I think last year. Or no, 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 Walter it was one of them too. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I think it was the year before because it was the year that I brought my mother and my cousin with me to because I had clients at the show. But you know, I, they did. I heard I, I was passing their booth back and forth, and the and fans were like talking and like asking, should we ask them about the order? Like, oh, I contributed money to this thing. I, should I ask if I can get my money back somehow? Whoa, and, whoa, wait, 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 wait. You mean tell me fans were still wondering if they can get their money back? Yes. And that's what I was hearing. I was when I was standing in line to, uh, you know, to at the end of the the final day when Shameful. they were at the Smoky Mountain. No, this wasn't with Walter because I don't think he was even involved. I can't remember. But at Cat Nakia's booth, you know, I, you know, walking back and forth throughout that weekend, I was just hearing, you know, hearing various different things from fans. I was passing one, and they said, you know, I contributed hundred and fifty dollars out of money I should have paid my rent with, and then I didn't get nothing from it. And whoa, I turned back whoa, around. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I turned back around and I was like, should I go say something to these kids? Um, and they, they looked like they were like 20, 20 years school, old. And, you know, I didn't know what to do. I was just wow. like, it, I was like, I wasn't, in, I wasn't involved. I didn't want to get involved, you know. So, so I'm just you like, know look, what? I hear and say my piece and that's it. <laughs> if there is someone out there who contributed to the order and you didn't get invited to the pizza party or you didn't get your vip ranger stop tickets and you got no type of compensation for your donation please i implore you to speak up and reach out and contact me i want to hear your goddamn story okay because exactly what happens is beth and you probably can know when people like Catherine southern like oh i don't want to talk about it then stories get swept under the rug and people are too scared to come forward because they don't want to you know make their favorite power ranger uncomfortable but I've gotten people their mugs back. Uh, some people have gotten acknowledged for being done wrong by Power Rangers. Let's just say that. So if you speak up, you can potentially get something back. But if you keep it a secret, you keep it to yourself, there will be no type of retribution for you. Yeah, the whole word is like you need to speak up. I'm like, if you don't speak up, then it's just like you said, swept under the rug. It's going to get forgotten about. But because of you... You know, you've been bringing up the order for quite a long time. I've been on it. I'm like, what's, you know, it's something about this shit that just doesn't make sense, Beth. It I doesn't know. make sense. A hundred thousand SAG mysteriously shuts you down. You're talking about people not getting their money back. I've spoken to at least two people who've not gotten their money back. And the rumor is, oh, they were made. Everyone who donated was made whole. I don't buy that shit for one second. But and here's the thing, you were talking about the SAG and stuff like that. I know information about stuff like that because being that I also am a manager and a talent agent here in Nashville. And I also represent some of the uh, actors in California. So I know about this whole SAG and union and non-union stuff. See, Power Rangers back in the day, and this is the reason why they do not get residuals, is because that is a non that was a non-union show and that was the reason why karen back in the day when they first wanted to do a reunion and only jdf and a couple others did it uh because these ones like karen and david and all them they didn't do it because they were union and they could not violate the union sad rules and also because yeah you know Savon, they were totally going to Ditch them with money, you know, on the money situation, but that yeah. part I did was real. But the SAG stuff, you know, they were they were correct about that. Now, there has been information that possibly, and I do not want to get in trouble for even saying this from from anybody in the, in the of any of the actors, you know, because I know they're going to see this video. And uh, there is a possibility, like you said, you don't know for sure if they uh, had the SAG involvement or whatever, like they say they did. Um, there is ways to find out. I'm, I'm, I got people that can do it too. I'm going through the pro I'm I'm literally going through SAG for this. But if you have a way that I can uh, go around or go through go get to get the information, because I just want confirmation that they shut it down and exactly. why they shut it down and when they shut it down. It's literally two things: why and when. Because it was it shut down months prior to them making the hey we got shut down while on set, or was it shut? You know, the, I just want to fact check their story. That's all I want. You know. Here's another thing. Um, I've had my beef 
with Karen Ashley from back in the day when I first started as an agent, she got misinformation about some stuff and you know, that's fine, you know? And she of course went off to other actors and said stuff about me too. And they came to me and they all blocked me. So, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with speaking my truth. You know, of course, if somebody wants to miss speak information about me without asking my side of the story she went to, she, she and other Let actors him cook. only getting the one-sided story this is what pisses me off about a lot of these actors in general not just power rangers but actors in general if they work with agents and stuff like that they get one-sided stories they say well what's your story no you don't get that there's like oh no we want this one bye-bye but yeah. anyway you know anyway you know so uh I didn't want to go further on this, but yes, I do have friends in the SAG AFTRA community that I am personal friends with and have been for over 10 years, yeah. even before I became an agent. Yes. Uh, mostly they're soap opera actors from Days of Our Lives and Passions, but you know, I do have some personal friends that, um, you know, are, are committee members and stuff Get like that. Money. If I wanted to ask you them did, questions bro. and they want like to look into it, I have no problem with it. I wish, I wish but, someone else. But the thing is, I don't want to, let's just say, Look, uh, if, get them, if, get the actors more mad at me, meaning Karen and all of them, you know, because I'm here on here and then go say, I'll go look at the video because, you know, it, it's the weirdest thing is that um, they got like everybody's, you know, I just don't want to get people more upset about me, but I love this stream, by the way, I'm going to say that um, because people need to be informed. And there life. are was actually a rumor I heard the other day. <laughs> there is a rumor I heard the other My day. My melon actually, is dripping today. Um, Lord have mercy. Facebook, I look when good. I heard bread, sorry. Um, and I can't find it anymore, so I think the person deleted it. But there was a rumor going around was that, like y'all were saying, they probably pocketed the money, but we don't have proof. Karen, she okay, if she was a legit, and I'm sure she is a very legit director producer whatever you want to call it she would provide receipts show the receipts hide the money y'all there's poor people around <laughs> with your broke ass <laughs> show I'm the with you. shots show the receipts That's show me the I'm contract doing. show me the contracts of contract, you securing locations contract, receipts emails from sag you know show these fans like look we're telling the truth here if, if to stop the rumors and the innuendos and all this other crap Show your proof. Let him cook. That's all you have to do. I've seen where other Kickstarters and Indiegogos end up where people thought they were, you know, keeping the money, but they would show the proof, the legit proof. And then they got, um, you know, they got, they got legitimate. legitimate. Now, here's the thing, Beth. If they showed receipts and they were actually legit, legit they would get way more money. Exactly. But exactly. I don't think those you know, receipts exist. <laughs> That's the thing. If you can't provide receipts, then it, does, it didn't exist. It never existed. But yeah. the only thing you're providing is words and interviews. That's all you're providing right now. That's all you have provided. You haven't provided any. I wonder if anybody who bought the autographs uh, part ever got the autographs. Look, you know? man, Beth, you are cooking. And, you know, I got to stop you right now because <laughs> I'm, I'm worried for you because you you're doing too much cooking. And I don't want this to blow back negatively on you. So, oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Oh, they, you know I'm they're watching to... this shit. <laughs> you know oh, they're I'm watching. Sure, I'm sure some of them now, are. And you know, last question. Last question yes. before I let you uh, keep what little career you're going to have left after this. I do want to say before you do that is that if Karen, I mean, sorry, if Catherine or Nakia really just see this, I just want them to know I'm not trying to put any negativity out there on them specifically. I'm just here as a you know, regular fan, not as, not as an agent. I'm just here, you know, trying to provide some, some they don't, they don't care about that shit. Up. They like you on that hate monger, Henry stream laughing, which the things out thinking, <laughs> you know, my grandma watching and she'd be looking at Dr. Umar and she like, uh, what's going on with uh, <laughs> the, the, the crazy stuff. Uh, but you know, um, she tell the black woman with your silly asses that the black what man is no good is going on in the, the power ranger circuit. When it comes to, have you heard any rumblings about me? Do they know me or are they lie? Are they speaking truth when they say they don't know me when they say I ain't nobody to be honest? Nope. I've not even heard a word about you specifically anywhere. Actually, hey. except for <laughs> 
I'm, it, I'm anonymous. So look, if they don't know me, then they don't know me. But if they come up to you and pressure you about this interview, you better let me know. Cause I'll oh, give them I will. up off I you. Mean, you know, I only brought it up um, at the show because somebody really did actually, you know, ask me. Um, okay, that's hard. Um, you know, because somebody did ask me about it the day before the show because they knew I was going. And they was like, can you ask about the order to Catherine? I'm like, I told him, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I really want to do that because Catherine is, you know, I I hold Catherine at a very high pedestal because she's she's a faith person and everything like that. And I, I love really Catherine. Respect I love her. Not love you know, her like that. But and I've, I like I've always respected her, um, it, you know, until a certain point. And uh, well, look, look, we we'll, we'll gotta get into that. Thank you so much, Beth, for coming up. I hope you get some answers for me, and you come up for the next Ranger stream, and we get an update on either if you book in more clients or if you lost all your clients. Well, I just recently picked up one. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. actually, Peter Sidarso, uh, who uh, is Yoshi's brother. Okay, Peter Sidarso. Let me let me see if we can. Uh, Ninja Steel. Can give you some uh, Peter Sidarso. Jesus, Peter Sidarso. So. Yes, I actually got him through a non-Power Ranger client, Tanya Gunati. Uh, Gunati, sorry. <laughs> uh, they're actually really good friends, and she actually connected him with me. Oh, here we go. I got him. A little heartthrob out here, huh? Check, man. Oh, give me a second. I'm over here uh, fooling around. Uh, this is him? Yes. All right. Well, congrats to you, Landon Peter Sidarso. Yes. I got to let you go, though, Beth. I, you, yes. you, you cooking too much. <laughs> You cooking I just wanted, too much. I wanted to say, um, Peter is actually going to probably be doing his first convention with me in October in Missouri. Okay. So look up Bad Con. Bad Con. You can go check out Beth, friend of the show. Uh, this may be her last day as an agent, but uh, we appreciate her giving up the juice. All right. Thank you, Beth. All right. Man, we having a great show tonight. That was Beth out there cooking cooking on y'all and i know some people were thinking it they were thinking this shit right here i'm about to play for my grandma